Good morning guys, MC Procrastinator here for another 2 minute videos, 2 minute series, if you don't know what the 2 minute series is about, check the link below. This topic's about my Aprilia Toano Factory V4 and what I love about the bike. Honestly I was going to do a video about likes and dislikes, but to be fair, the dislikes that I actually had were few and far between, and more importantly I've got so used to the bike now that I don't even think about them, okay? So, let's go through these in no specific order about what I love about the bike. Number one, the look of the bike. So, I want to be able to differentiate very quickly between the Tuano V4 and the Tuano V4 factory. So, the rear tail end of the bike, if you have a look, it has a nice little kind of fin on it, right, which is very reminiscent of the Aprilia RS V4, either the factory model or the standard model, okay? And for me, that kind of makes the bike look quite unique, especially when you compare that to the standard V4, which has like a, a seat that's basically the pillion seat and the passenger seat all in one. I like the cleaner end of this because it makes it look a little bit more sporty, like comparing a car with a spoiler on it versus a car that doesn't, okay? Then there's the, um, the components, like the Olin suspension, you know, you've got the lovely gold forks with a little silver butt on them with the Olin, blue Olin's writing. Yep, that's probably been a bit overkill about things, but it makes it look so good. And of course, you've got the adjustable Olin suspension, both the back and the front. Compared to the V4, which has got great suspension, but it doesn't have the Olin's. So again, it's more of a looks, aesthetics. Either one would be fine, but in my mind, I just love the Olin's. And then there's the factory paint scheme. So I, I really tried my best to look at the original V4s, uh, the non-factory models, and I, whilst I like them, there was a lot, a lot of yellow ones out there. White is probably like black to me. It's a little bit too plain, plain Jane. And for that reason, the Aprilia factor really cut the biscuit on the way that it looks. I love the paint scheme. I love the silver. I love the Aprilia logo across the side. I love the little badging of the Italian stickers on the top tail down the bottom. It makes it look unique. It makes it look really unique and special. Again, for me, that was extremely important. And more importantly, it's hard to differentiate between this bike and the sound. Ooh, come to that. It's really hard to differentiate between this bike and the RSV4 factory or the standard RSV4 other than, of course, the upright handlebars, which takes me to point number two. So, with this bike, 175 brake horsepower, which I believe is the same as the V4 Tuano non-factory version again, you basically have sports bike performance, sports bike handling, with all the technology, which I'll also come to, that makes this bike just an absolute amazing bike. I can't fault this bike in any way when it comes to the performance and how it makes me feel when I jump on it. The upright handlebars are this kind of like perfect world of, I actually don't mind, I like being leaned forward. For me it's probably a slightly more natural position than sitting more upright. So to be fair, I like the upright handlebars because I just don't get a sore back, sore wrist. So it just improves the experience I get right in the Tuano. Number three, components with regards to safety, traction control, ABS, launch control, anti-wheelie, all these things help and promote a safer riding experience. And again, for me, from my personal experience, being the fact that I tend to use this more as a computer, um, I just find that sort of a reassurance factor that I can have this amazing bike and relax. Yep, so number four, quick shifter. So honestly, I've never had a quick shifter until I had the Tuano factory. I believe the, uh, the quick shifter is also on the V4 standard. So whichever one you go for, you'll still get the quick shifter. And it's really hard to explain because I'd never previously used a quick shifter before. 
I was a little bit hesitant on one how to use it, two just opening the throttle and keep the throttle open it just seems counterintuitive when you need to change gear obviously um, but that's fine I talked to uh, one of the guys that bought my last bike David really cool guy and he was like mate you gotta try a quick shifter a quick shifter is amazing anyway I listened to him tried it out and he was right yeah it's amazing best way I can describe it it's like going on a launch pad and the acceleration goes on and there's no respite on that acceleration, kind of like a rubber band. You stretch a rubber band, you just let it go. It, it, it just keeps applying all that force when it shoots off. And that really is what it's like on the Tuano. Number five, the handling. Now I heard a Honda CBR blade before, and I'll be honest, that was a good handling bike. I can't say this is better or worse, I, I, I mean I, I wouldn't compare it like that, I would just say that it's different and I love the feeling of the way this bike handles. It drops into the corners perfectly, follows the lines perfectly, the delivery in the corners are, is, the power delivery in the corners is exceptional. The only thing that will get you when you first start out is anything at low speeds, right, anything at low speeds is quite hard work. You have to change your riding style to be able to accommodate the throttle response at low speeds. But when you change your riding style, it's not an issue. And now I've got used to it, I love it. So number six would be the sound of the bike. The V4 sound is so unique. I feel it's probably one of the best sounding bikes out there. So number seven would be the three different engine maps that you have available. You have um, Sport, which is kind of really suitable for wet roads, etc. You've got the most engine braking. Then you've got Track, which actually counterintuitively, but I would have thought Track would be the the, uh, the next one, the next level. Bear in mind, all these have the same brake horsepower, same power available. And then at least engine braking one with. The most aggressive throttle response is race. Number eight, the pure configurability of the bike. So I talked about safety features, you know, wheelie control, uh, traction control, ABS, engine mapping. Well, it's just so easy to switch them all. You know, like you can change the traction control on the fly, you can change the engine mapping on the fly. Only thing with the engine mapping is you have to make sure that the, the bike you don't have the acceleration on the bike, so you have to be rolling down a hill or something or pulled over at traffic lights. You can quickly change it. It's really simple. And of course, the ability to be able to adjust the suspension. So look, that really is my favorite points about the Aprilia Tuano V4. So for now, I'm Steve Procrastinator out.